Cisco have released a new version of Viral, Viral 1.3. This was released in August 2017. New images have also been added to the Viral website, and one of those images is the ASA version 9.71. I've received a lot of messages about issues that people are having setting up ASAs in Windows. In my previous video discussing the setup of the Cisco ASA in GNS3, which you can find on YouTube, I did that installation on a Mac. And I've had a lot of queries about how to set it up on Windows. So now seems like a good time to demonstrate both the setup of this new version of the ASA in GNS3, as well as how to demonstrate that on the Windows computer. In this example, I'm using GNS3 version 203 on a Windows computer, and I'm using the GNS3 VM, also version 203. You need to make sure that your GNS3 VM and GNS3 GUI are using the same version of GNS3. So I'm gonna demonstrate how to import and configure Cisco ASA V 9.71, which you can download from Cisco Viral in GNS3 version 203. GNS3 supports multiple ASAV images. You can see a list on the GNS3 documentation. So as an example, the ASAV 9.815 is supported and GNS3 provides download links to the various versions of the ASA. So if you've got Cisco download rights, you can simply download the ASA images from the Cisco website. Otherwise, you can download the latest release available via Viral by purchasing a Viral license. To install the ASA V in GNS3, you need two things. Number one, you need to go to the marketplace on the GNS3 website and search for the ASA V appliance and then download the ASA template to your local computer. Secondly, you need the ASA V QCOW2 operating system. So in your Cisco Viral account, as an example, click on ASA V and then download the ASA V QCOW2 file to your local computer. I've got the ASA V 9.71 QCOW2 file as well as the Cisco ASA V GNS3 appliance in my downloads directory. So I've downloaded both of those files. So in GNS3, I can go to File, Import Appliance, browse to my downloads directory and select the GNS3 ASA V appliance and click Open. The Add Appliance Wizard displays. The category that the appliance will be added to is the Firewall category. It's an ASA V from Cisco. KVM is required, which means that you need to be using the GNS3 VM within a VMware product. VirtualBox does not support nested virtualization. That is a limitation of VirtualBox, so you can't use VirtualBox. You need to be using VMware Workstation Pro or VMware Workstation Player on Windows, or you could use ESXi or you could use VMware Fusion on a Mac. In this example, I'm using VMware Workstation on a Windows PC. So I'm gonna click Next. I'm gonna run the appliance on the GNS3 VM and click Next. My GNS3 server requirements are okay, so I'm gonna click Next. GNS3 scans your downloads directory for the prerequisite files. In this example, it's found the ASA V 9.71 QCOW2 file. So this is the version of the ASA that I'm going to install. Later versions are available directly from the Cisco website, but this is the latest release available via the viral portal. So that's what I'm going to install. Click Next. I'm asked, would I like to install the ASA V? The answer is yes. The QCOW2 file is then uploaded to the GNS3 VM. Now, depending on your computer, that may take a while. Just wait for that process to complete, and then you're prompted to select QMU settings. I'm gonna stay with the defaults and click Next. 
A summary of the appliance is displayed. Notice please that eight adapters are supported. Two gig of RAM is required. So you need to ensure that your GNS3 VM has enough RAM. So in my example, I've allocated four gig of RAM to the GNS3 VM. Make sure that your GNS3 VM has enough RAM for the ASA appliance. Note also the console type. By default, it's VNC. KVM is required. Click Next. We're told that there's no default password. A default configuration is present. Also be aware that the ASA goes through a double boot before becoming active. So you need to be patient. This is normal and expected. So wait for the ASA to boot twice before you try and use it. I'm gonna click Finish. The ASA V 9.71 is now installed. So under Security Devices, I now have the ASA V 971, and I can drag that to the workspace. What I'm gonna do here as well is drag two GNS3 routers to the workspace. This is not required. I'm simply gonna do this to demonstrate an ASA working in a GNS3 topology. So I'm gonna connect the ASA to the two routers. And then what I'll do is boot up the ASA and the routers and open up a console. Now notice the routers use Telnet connections, but by default, the ASA is using VNC. So you need to wait for the ASA to boot up. This is the first boot process. You simply need to wait now for the ASA to reboot again. So notice now it's sending all processes the terminal signal and the ASA is now rebooting. And there you go. So I'm simply gonna allow the ASA to do its thing. So it booted up initially, it's now rebooting. Now at this point, the ASA has booted twice and I'm told to use the serial port for console input output. So the ASA has successfully booted up, but I can't configure it. So what I need to do is shut it down and then open up a connection using Telnet. So I'm gonna close down the VNC connection. I'm gonna power down the ASA and then right click click on configure, and I'm gonna change the console type to Telnet and click OK. I'm gonna start up the ASA and then open up a console. Notice this time the console is using PuTTY. In other words, it's a Telnet connection rather than a VNC connection, and I can see that the ASA is now booting up. So there you go, eight network interface cards have been found. The system is booting up, and I've got a console to the ASA. By default, there's no password. So show IP shows me that no IP addresses are configured. Show run shows me the configuration of the ASA. So I've successfully connected to the console of the ASA. Now in my previous video, and the same is true on this video, I've put a basic ASA configuration below the video. So you could simply copy that to get a basic configuration on your ASA. So I'm gonna type conf t. I'm not gonna send anonymous feedback and I'm gonna paste in the configuration. There was a bit of a typo there, so let's have a look at the config in Notepad. So I'll copy that again and paste it back in. So the configuration has now been applied to the ASA. Show IP shows me that 
the ASA has an IP address configured on the outside interface of 8.8.8.254 and this IP address is configured on the inside interface. So my ASA is successfully configured. So what I'll do now is configure the two routers in the topology to prove that the ASA configuration is working. So there's router one. Here's router two. Again, the routers are not required. I'm simply using them to test the ASA configuration. So this is the inside IP address on the ASA. So what I'll do is configure the router with an IP address of 10.1.1.1 slash 24 mask. And I should at this point be able to ping the ASA, which I can. I'll configure a default route to the ASA. This router is on the inside network. So it's gonna send all traffic to the ASA to get to the outside interface. Router two is pretending to be Google. In other words, it's pretending to be a router or a device on the internet. So on fast ethernet zero zero on router two, I'll no shut it and configure an IP address of 8.8.8.8. In other words, Google. That's just a pretend network. So it should be able to ping the ASA at this point, which it can. The ASA again is configured with this IP address on the outside and this IP address on the inside. So can router one ping Google? Yes, it can. So in my pretend little network, the inside router can ping the router pretending to be Google. So do that ping again. And as you can see, the output of the debug is displayed on router two. So router one is able to ping router two via the ASA. I've thus successfully imported and configured the ASA in GNS3. In this example, I'm running the ASA v 9.71 on Windows, and I've got a network up and running. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to wish you all the very best.